everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a New Year's Eve glam makeup tutorial for you guys I really really like how this turned out half cut creases have become one of my favorite looks to do and it's just been so much fun learning how to do it for my eye shape so we are also going to be using the berries and cream palette I've been wanting to do a tutorial for you guys with this for quite some time so excited to do that um, also a side note there will be no video this upcoming Monday um, it is New Year's Eve and I'm not gonna worry about posting so videos will resume on Wednesday um, so before we get started if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter and I'll have those all listed down below for you guys so if you want to see how I created this eye look then just keep watching all right, so um, as you can see, I have this right here, which is not fun. It's just a little cut. I don't even know how I got that. So I'm gonna have to cover that up. So I'm gonna start with my Sigma eyeshadow base. Um, this is in the shade Persuade. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for my New Year's look. I'm going to be using the Berries and Cream eyeshadow palette. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is this Soft and Sweet shade. Um, and we're going to put this all over the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Bittersweet. We're gonna put this high above the crease. Like I said, I do have hooded eyes, so I can't go directly in the crease. I have to go really high up. to go ahead and put that on my outer corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Cherry Juice and I'm going to start with the outer corner and then I'm going to work this into the crease. take a little bit of that bittersweet and go back in since we lost a little bit of that color. Alright, so 
I need to deepen up that outer corner just a little bit. Um, I don't want to go in with Blackberry because that's going to make it just way too dark. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this chocolate mousse color right here and put that on the outer corner. So I'm going to take my NYX brush. This is the number 14 um, and my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and we're going to cut the crease. This is always a process because I have hooded eyes so bear with me. to apply a sugar cookie, which is this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. Not only did I finish my other eye, but I went ahead and did my foundation and my brows, my eyeliner and um, lashes because that's still new to me and it takes me forever. So you probably won't see me do that on camera for a long, long time. Um, so let's go ahead and move right along. We're gonna go with the lower lash line so I'm going to take some of the bittersweet and put that on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with cherry juice as well um, and put that on my lower lash line. I'm just not gonna bring it down as low as the bittersweet. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Linked on Black. So I'm gonna actually put it in my waterline for the top and the bottom. <laughs> Mascara to the bottom. This 
so back into the palette I want to take a little sweet cream and I'm going to put this in my brow bone highlight <laughs> For blush, I'm just going to stick with my favorite blush in the whole world. This is my Tarte Exposed Blush. I love this blush because it literally goes with whatever look you're doing. It's perfect. highlighter I'm gonna bring out my Becca amethyst highlighter this is so pretty whenever you do a purple look and it's just it's subtle but not too subtle <laughs> Okay. All right, so I thought about going in with a dark lipstick, but I don't want it to overpower my look. So I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea lipstick. This is in the shade Salt Life. <laughs> So this is it for the completed look. I really, really like how this turned out. I think this is perfect for New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, so if you guys did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!